special events in North America. Nan Wynn joins us live from Rio Linda with more. Hi, Nan. Yes, it's crazy. All of these people, more than 35,000, meeting through the airwaves. It's quite a sight out here. We're out in Rio Linda, and you can see uh, the club here, the ARRL, the um, Amateur Radio Relay League, has set all these up to test it out. Now, this is more than just kind of a social event. It's actually an emergency exercise that people do. So I wanted to point out some of the antennas they have. This one is the most interesting. I was talking with the field day captain, and uh, it's called a hex beam, but we are calling it a laundry hanger. Doesn't it look like one of those things where you sit there and you hang like all your clothes to dry off on? <laughs> so anyways, all of this is a part, as I said, of a kind of an emergency exercise. And something that's important with that, you'll notice that you'll see a lot of these solar panels here. And that's because everything here is run off battery and solar power. It's because in case of an emergency and there's no power, this is the way that they're going to connect with people. So I wanted to talk with a couple of the people from the club today. We have Andy and we have Carol. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the ARRL and, and why this you guys started doing this. You guys have been around since the 70s, but this exercise has been happening since 1933, right? Actually, yes. The American Radio Relay League has uh, been in existence for 101 years now. Even longer than that. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're the National uh, Organization Association of Amateur Radio Operators uh, for the United States. And uh, we uh, currently have 160,000 members across the nation. Uh, and uh, we're out there to give uh, support, uh, advocacy, and education for the amateur radio community. And uh, we also uh, interface with uh, government organizations uh, to do with uh, emergency preparedness, et cetera. Uh, so um, uh, we're really happy you know, to be here. This is our major uh, premier operating event, uh, Field Day. And we have many, many uh, uh, clubs and uh, individuals across the nation participating in Field Day. And it is open to the general public. And we certainly welcome everyone to come by. It's definitely worth coming by to check out and learning everything you can. I've learned so much, actually, just in the last 20 minutes, so just chatting it up with Andy. So coming up in this next hour, he's going to give us the chance to make our own call, to see who we can connect with. You know, there's four different stations set up here, and it's amazing who they've been, reach been able to reach out to. Cool. Uh, stay tuned for that and see who we can connect with. Do you All need right, a handle? Do you need to have a handle? Mm -hmm. we got to get our handle. Yeah. 10-4. Well, yesterday was...